Hi, this is Artifacts of Mars, and uh, I wanted to talk about the loony liberals who are claiming that this is one of the hottest Februarys on record. I ever had this idiot. This is from weather.com, not to be confused with the weather, weather channel, they're two different things. Uh, I hope they are. Anyway, this idiot gets off and he explains how this was one of the hottest Februarys on record and blah blah blah. It's beyond belief. Despite a series of blizzards and record breaking cold snaps in January and February, the winter of 2014 to 2015 was warmer than average for the contiguous United States as a whole, according to data released by the National Oceanographic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA. Hogwash. You know, the well, Great Lakes are froze solid. Um, here in the Tundra Lake Plains of sunny western New York, we're still freezing our 90s off. It's not as bad as it was. I mean, we're in the 30s. Most days now. 30s and 40s. But it is still very much winter. I haven't been able to get down my driveway for months. And still these imbeciles persist. I've never seen a February like that. I had so many minus 15, minus 20 readings, I couldn't count them. It usually does not get that cold at night in February. It usually might get down to zero or something, but... Minus 15 and 20, and that, that was a common thing for February this year. February temperatures, balance of extremes. Temperature contrast was starker when looking at February alone. In fact, it was one of the most extreme months on record in terms of the area affected by both extreme warmth and cold. This is such BS. Earth is not warming up, it's getting colder. Now we're going to go to a blogger, and who is another liberal. And take a look at his page on WordPress. Accelerated global warming, NASA shows February 2015th was second hottest on record. Bullshit. It was so cold here. I think we, I think our February here was the coldest on record. And NASA says it's the hottest, second hottest. Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. I can't believe people put up with this. Well, I'm having to agree with Michael Savage that ridicule is probably the best way to deal with these people at this point. Now, this is a leftist pinko commie, Robert Scribbler, uh, scribbling for economic, social, and environmental justice. He's a hardcore Marxist. North American West Coast. Through Alaska, it'll show much warmer than normal readings. Uh, give it a rest, people. And normal warmth everywhere. But. And we're expected to believe that this was a warm winter here, apparently. At least from this idiot. Pacific Ocean warming impact studies both in El Nino sun to shift more towards Central Pacific and the amazing polar amplification and indications of what it was expected in the world seeing a rapid accumulation of greenhouse gases through the mechanism of human fossil fuel emission. That's BS. We need the CO2 in the air. Without that, you die. You actually would suffocate without CO2. That's a fact. I don't know whether you'd suffocate first or you'd starve first. I 
I don't know what's the matter with these people. They're, you know, these are liberals on the loose, and frankly, I wish they were in cages, but that's my own personal thinking. Anyway, we're going to uh, the third one, and you're really going to love this one. This, these people think just like this idiot does. Thinkprogress.org. It's the same basic crap. After all we've been through, and, you know, this is not over with, by the way, on the temperatures, on uh, winter, because we're still very much in winter. It's just so it's not as severe as it was. But here is thinkprogress.org. Now this is a hardcore Marxist Leninist site. These are progressives. That's another term for uh, Marxists. Communists, basically. Highest winter on record globally. They're insane. That's what it, this amounts to. They said the Great Lakes are frozen. We're still frozen solid here. It's getting better. Well, it has gotten a little better. We're getting about freezing most days. That's at least a little progress. Of course, that should have happened back in February. We're closing in on April, and there's no sign of spring or any really decent weather. They're insane. That's the only thing I can uh, figure is that they're insane. There's never been a 12-month period in NASA's database that's have a 12 month period is 2014 to 2015 February. Well, like I said, NASA has this reputation they're called never a straight answer for a reason. We are expecting continuation of global warming trend that made 2014 the hottest calendar year on record. Very latest science says we should expect an acceleration in surface temperature warming to start quite soon. I wish. What is happening now is consistent with that. No, it isn't. We're freezing to death. All I can do is ridicule these people at this point. These are left-wing radicals. They are utter and complete nutcases, alright? Ugh. You can't take these people seriously. I'm sorry. If you take them seriously, you're just screwing yourself, because... They don't care. They don't care how cold it gets. We could have carbon dioxide frozen at the poles. Sitting at the poles. We wouldn't have to get much colder, either like 108 degrees Fahrenheit below zero or something that freezes somewhere around there. It's less than 110. A little warmer than 110, I remember that. We could have that frozen right at the poles and they'd still say we're causing global warming. This isn't about climate. This is about taking your car. It's about taking your houses. That's what uh, sites like Think Progress want to do. They want to take your house, your car, they want to tell you you can't heat your home, all for your own good, of course. Doesn't matter how many people freeze to death. This is beyond belief. I just want to put this out. Because these people, they're liberals on the loose, and they ought to be, we can't lock them up for being liberals. That's simply a pipe dream that I have. Uh, but you can't do it because everybody has to have their uh, political shot. 
On the other hand, if you prove that they were a danger to themselves or others, you could lock them up on the base of an, basis of mental illness, which liberalism is mental disorder. There's no question of that. Liberalism is a mental disorder. That's all there is to it. So, I'm going to ridicule them a little bit. I'm going to hear some sound. I'm sure you've heard the sound effects by now, so... These are kooks. They are not cases. They need to be exposed. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.